how to turn off or on digital ocean droplets. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and log into your digital ocean account. Once you've signed in, you'll be on your digital ocean dashboard. Select the appropriate project that has your digital ocean droplet that you want to turn off or on. For me, my droplet is in a project called tutorials and I'm currently already viewing it. The droplet that I'm first going to be turning off is called test server. If we look to the left hand side, you can see a green status circle, which means that our droplet is currently turned on. To turn it off, all you need to do is click on its name in my case it's called test as server and if you look towards the top right hand corner you can see a button which is currently toggled on to turn off your droplet all you need to do is left click on it once you then be greeted with the following notification turn off droplet when you turn off a droplet from the control panel we first try a graceful shutdown if that fails we do a force shutdown which may corrupt data to ensure data integrity, we recommend shutting down from the command line with power off. When a droplet is off, its data and IP address are retained and its disk, CPU and RAM are reserved. You continue to accrue its data transfer allowance. Warning, you will still be billed for a turned off droplet. To end billing, destroy the droplet instead. Even though you've powered off your droplet, you'll still be billed for that droplet. You'll actually need to destroy the droplet to no longer be charged any further. But if you're just looking to turn off your droplet temporarily and then turn it back on later, then continue following along. If you would like a step-by-step -step video on how to destroy your droplet, I'll put a link in the video description to a step-by-step -step video that shows you how to destroy your droplet. I'll also put it as a card at the top right hand corner of this video. If you're happy to continue to turn off your droplet, simply click on turn off. Your droplet will then begin switching off. If we look to the top right hand corner now, you can see the toggle now says off. And now if I click on the same project that I was in previously, I'll be taken back to a list of all my droplets and digital ocean services in the tutorials project. Of course, I only have one and it's called test as server. And if we look now to the left hand side, you can see that it has a gray status symbol instead of the green one previously, which means our droplet is currently turned off. To turn your droplet back on again, you need to repeat the same process. So just click on your droplets name once again, navigate to the top right hand corner, and click on the toggle which says off to turn your droplet back on and power it up again. And there we go, our droplet is now powered back on. And to double check this, if we click on the project where this droplet is contained in once again, to go back to the droplets list, you can see the green status symbol once again on the left hand side of our droplet. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to turn off or on digital ocean droplets. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so